Hi, my name is Chris Noble. I'm a professional photographer and independent IT consultant. My website is www.doglikehorse.com. This is a short video on how to set up a home server. The things you'll need for this are an Ethernet network and a device or a computer you will use as your server. Step one, the first thing you'll need to decide is what you're using your home server for. Most typically, people use a home server to hold files or media or music, things like films and music that you've downloaded from the internet. If that's what you're looking for, then there are a number of choices for you. You could use a home media center, and there are lots. If you search on the internet for home media center, you'll see Google shopping results or results from all sorts of online shops, or you can use an old PC. Step number two, if you've choose, chosen to use a home media center, then they're pretty much plug and play. You just plug it into your network and follow the instructions that were provided to you when you bought the package. If you choose to use an old PC, then you're gonna to have to get a little bit technical and you'll have to install an operating system on it, something like Unix or uh, Linux or a version of Windows will be suitable for you. Step number three is just ensure that your device is automatically assigning IP addresses to other machines on your network. This will ensure that when you add new devices to your network, you'll be able to connect dynamically to that box and get access to all of the data stored on it. My name is Chris Noble. Thanks for watching this video.